situation you're in right now in your life, whether it's something with your kids or your marriage or your finances or you think you're never going to recover from your past or you're fighting with some kind of a, an addiction or some kind of a, a sin that just keeps trying to cling to you. Whatever it is, you have to know that God is greater than any problem that you have. And you have to not worry because when you pray and then you worry, the worry nullifies your prayer. Prayer is something you do instead of worry. It's not something you do with worry. It's what you do instead of worry. I want to make sure you understand that. If we pray and then worry, we're saying with our mouth that we're depending on God, but we're saying with our actions that we don't really believe that God's going to come through, so we're going to worry and have a backup plan just in case he doesn't. Now, I know about worry because I had lots of problems with worry, and in particular, I had a lot of problems with reasoning. We're going to get around to that in just a minute. Faith sees God. And faith knows something that it can't see. You know, faith sees God, but it doesn't see God with its natural eyes. It sees God with its heart. 